Ugh. Hey there, everybody. Uh, it's been a while since I've done one of these. Um, let's see here. Steve-O, how's it going? G, how's it going, buddy? Cat, uh, morning, afternoon. It, it is a new intro. That is a new intro. That's the first time it's been used, too. So, yeah. Yep, there we go. Ish, how's it going? Good to see everybody. How's everybody doing? No, oh, I've got everything. I've got everything that I'm gonna be uh, gonna be bringing to the show um, next to me. I leave Thursday morning. I'm gonna get there, go down to my friend's house. We're gonna share a ride over to Chicago. Um, it's a four and a half hour drive for me down to their place. And then it's a six hour drive from their place to Chicago. So we'll get there late Thursday night. Um, and then the convention is Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then we'll drive home Sunday evening. And then I'm going to stay the night at their place on Sunday and leave Monday at some point. So, uh, I'm glad that's awesome. I liked it too. Uh, Good to see you, Ish. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, I've got some exciting things to, to talk about for it. Uh, I'm I'm like really hyped up about it. Uh, I'm super excited. I don't know how many different ways I can say that. But um, I'll get the, the guest list pulled back up because it has been updated. Uh, If any of you could share this out to our group, I've been really bad about uh, sharing and like, but these are really, I am not going to have a booth, G. Um, in fact, I really just established the LLC like two weeks ago. So um, I'm hoping next year, so 2023 will be when I'm going to start having booths and stuff. Um, but no, right. So this one, it'll be mostly me going as a fan slash getting autographs and getting exclusives for, for the, um, for the convention. Um, I'm, I'm a little bit overwhelmed by it. I posted in the Facebook group. I asked, I was like, Hey, this is going to be my first convention. Uh, do you have any tips or tricks? And about 20 people have responded. Uh, it's been, they've been super supportive. Uh, yeah. Hey, Chris. Um, oh man, I'm, I'm pumped. And, uh, oh my God, I am so excited. I don't want to spoil too much, but, um, I'm getting, a couple things signed that aren't comics by uh, one is going to be signed by a pretty big name. Uh, so I, I prepaid the ticket for that. I think I talked about it in a whatnot auction, but um, man, I'm, I'm just like super giddy. Uh, I will share pull that up. That's not the right one. Share, share screen, share window. There we go. Share. All right. Here we go. So I'll point out the people who I am going to for sure try to see. We're going to the Billy D. Williams panel, and I'm going to try it. Going to try and get a uh, a Lando comic. I'll show it off. Lando comic signed by him. Um, I don't usually get. Oh, geez, you can't even see me. Um, 
uh, try to get things. I wouldn't typically get things signed like comics by the actors. Um, but I think, I think this is going to be an exception. Uh, Dino, how's it going, buddy? Um, I know I'm super, super excited. Uh, I, I don't even know where to start, but, um, so go to the Billy D panel. If I don't get the comic signed by him, um, that's okay. Uh, Brendan Wayne's going to be there. I am going to see um, Charles Soule get some books signed by him. I'll show those off. Um, ah, appreciate it. Um, I just did it to the main YouTube support one. Uh, Chris Claremont, writer of a bunch of X-Men. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to go that, go see him. Um, Chrissy here, she's awesome. Uh, I'm going to see the price of getting a sketch done by her, but I'd like to get an Ahsoka sketch done by her on a Darth Vader blank comic. Um, but it all depends on the price. Um, Claudia Gray, Star Wars author. I'm going to try to get... I have almost all of the books by her, signed by her. Um, so I don't know if I need to go to the book signing, but I just want to say hi. Um, CM Punk's there. I'm not going to see any of the wrestling people, that, uh, but it'll be cool to you know walk by and, and see them. Um, Dave Barkley, he's going to be doing um, a puppeteering panel, so I'll be seeing him. We're going to that one. Um, David Nakayama, I'm trying to get, going to try to get some stuff signed by him. I've got uh, a couple different books that I would like him to sign. He's an he's an awesome artist. Um, Donnie Cates, writer of a bunch of Venom um, and Hulk. He's pretty chill, I've heard. So uh, let's see. I'm making sure I'm not missing anything in the chat. Uh, a couple of these authors. Um, here, let me see if I can. A couple of these authors, um, young adult authors, uh, are going to be there. And it sounds like you can get pretty good deals on their books. And I'm, I'm a big fan of fantasy and... Uh, um, kind of that YA stuff. So I'm going to check her, her out. Um, Erica from Smallville. I'm not going to do anything with that. Um, Frankie Muniz, not going to see him. Uh, Jeanette Varney. I am hopefully, uh, got to run. Ah, oh, taking Raffy swimming. Well, have a good, uh, have a good day, cat. Hopefully he enjoys it. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to I'll hide no oh, oh god. So I got Legend of Korra. She's the voice of Korra. I'm gonna try to get that signed. Um, and then uh, Jenny Frizen, I'll show the comics that I'm going to try to get signed by her, but she's a fantastic artist too. I mean, all these people are, are great. Um, John Tyler Christopher, I've got a couple that I'm going to try to see, but he's doing the hero initiative stuff. So I don't know if he's going to be doing any signings and he's just there for Saturday. So I don't know about him. Um, Katrina Monroe, she is from Minnesota and uh, she's got a, it's like a suspense slash horror book that uh, I'm going to see about picking up. Um, but um, Kyle Strom is an artist on Twig, uh, and I'm going to try to get 
some books signed by him. Lance Briggs, um, former Chicago Bear linebacker. He made a, a comic book. So I'm going to stop by and say hey to him, even though I'm a Vikings fan. He's just there for Saturday. Uh, Lita is there. Um, Marco Mastrazzo. I should pull out the books when I'm when I'm uh, when I'm. Sasha Banks is gonna be there. Michael Rooker, Mick Foley, Mike Quinn, um, Moses Ingram. Rosario Dawson, Rupert Friend. <laughs> Sean Biggerstaff from Harry Potter. Scotty Young is a big one that I'm going to try to go see. Um, from Peacemaker, I'm trying to remember his name. Uh, the voice of Zeb from Rebels. Undertaker's going to be there. It's ex crazy expensive to see him. Um, she, yeah, she was Casca Reeves. Um, Tom Welling from Smallville. Naomi uh, from WWE. Even though Sasha Banks and Naomi both just quit the WWE. Uh, young Leia is going to be there. But uh, yeah, I can I can go up and show the books. Uh, I've got fifteen books to get signed. Uh, Trish Stratus, like, yep, yeah. Undertaker Undertaker is there, but it's two hundred dollars for a photo op. Um, I know, and I'm just like, should I should I try to get a, a picture? Should I try to, you know, get an autograph? It's, I could only imagine, because how old is she? She's like 12 or something, isn't she, the actress? I could only imagine how, like, overwhelming and weird it would be for, I don't know. I'd have a hard time with it. But, uh, so, the, the big thing, okay, big thing. I've already got the, the autograph ticket lined up, but Rosario Dawson is going to sign this. Um, and then I'm going to end up selling it. Uh, as cool as it would be to have that, um, her signature is going for quite a bit on these Funko Pops. So that's... Uh, I don't have anything to get signed by her though. So maybe, maybe a photo op, maybe a photo op. I don't know. Yeah. This is going to be my first con. That is a good point though. That's a very good point, which is weird to think about. Um, so I got these paint pens in different colors in case you know, just in case they need a marker of a different color. Um, <laughs> yeah, I was like, what? Yeah, got you. Um, yeah, they'll have pictures there that you can purchase and then get signed, which... Probably the best. One, two, three. So I got 12 of these paint pens, which are better to get comics signed with, I guess, because Sharpie's, I don't know, the Sharpie signature dulls over time. Or, and then I also got a 
these metallic color pens. Um, but uh, I'm going to have to balance how much I spend on me versus how much I balance to sell um, to fund the trip, really. Because uh, doing all the startup stuff with the uh, P.O. box and, uh, oh, these are not, these are not what I thought they were. Nope. Okay, not bringing those. And they typically have markers and everything, but I just figured can't hurt to have some with me. Um, there you go. Shake well with cap on and to prime the tip, press it against a piece of paper repeatedly until the ink begins to flow. Choking hazard. Ah. Um, got my little pack of business cards to hand out and I've got a box of those plan on bringing like 200 of them um, to hand out between the three days I let's see here I'll show so I got these portfolios, right? Put my name in the Icebox Comics on them and then what's in them. So two or three shows and she can fund college. No kidding. No kidding. I got... What are these? I got... 20 extra bag and boards when I pick up exclusive comics because they don't always come with bag and boards. Um, I got a 1 in 25 Ryan Stegman Daredevil with Electra comic that I'm going to get signed. I got, and I'll see about it, but I think this is going to be the best sketch cover uh, to have one of them do. And it's the black and white Venom. And I'm going to see how things go with that because sometimes it can be a couple hundred dollars to get a sketch done, but Sometimes, depending on who you have it done, it can sell for lots of money. But I'm I'm not gonna rush into anything with this. Um, and uh, so those are two of those. Ah! But if <laughs> hey Rick, how's it going? Um, it's going well. Uh, my dad should be home today from the hospital. Um, he's been in the hospital since June something, early June. But that's what a course of antibiotics and two heart surgeries will do for you. Um, sorry if you saw my bed being a mess. I got all the laundry and clothes up there for uh, for the for the trip. Hide those. Um, I appreciate it. Um, yeah, it is great news. Um, we had my grandfather's celebration of life on 
Saturday. Um, they had like a service for him that I did not go to. Um, but I went to the, he wanted us to, he wanted to be cremated and then he wanted a bonfire where family just got together and told stories. So I went to that. Uh, we had a fish fry, lots of food, uh, and a bonfire. So that was good. But my dad was able to break out of the hospital for a couple hours to come to those. Uh, hey Dave, how's it going? Um, but yeah, so I got the Venom sketch and the Stegman in this one with extra bags and boards, and there's actually room for if I buy any comics, but I'm going to bring a short box, um, for purchases. I've got my backpack and everything. Um, And then this is the big one. Okay. All right. So we got the Venom. It's almost a trait paperback, really. It's one of the thick Venom Legacy comics. It's um, Venom 35. It's Marco Mastrazzo Virgin. So get him to sign uh, that. It should be sick. Uh, We got Ghost Rider, comic Scotty Young. We got Amazing Spider-Man 1 by Scotty Young. We got Lando by Scotty Young. And this Lando is actually um, Charles Soule. Uh, it was Charles Soule's first work on Star Wars comics. Um so he wrote the Lando comic. So I'm going to get Charles Soule to sign it and Scotty Young and maybe even Billy D. We'll see though. Like I said, I'm not a huge person on getting actors and actresses to sign. We got Twig, which is a book by Scotty Young. And this is um, a Kyle Strom cover. So I'll get that signed by both of them. Twig number one, Scotty Young. Get it signed by Scotty. Um, I'll answer your question here in a minute, G. Uh, Eye of the Storm number one, um, Marcian Rowe. Uh, backstory um, by Charles Charles Soul and uh, Charles Soul and Ryan Brown are going to be there, so I can get the writer and the artist to sign it. Um, then we got, this is a fun one. This is a fun one here. Um, so 8 Billion Genies is a new series by Charles Soule. Ryan Brown is the interior artist, different Ryan Brown. Um, but it's basically they're in a bar and these little genie dudes, uh, appear to everybody in the world and grant them one wish. So it's been, I've just read the first one so far. It's a, just an eight little comic mini series, um, but it got optioned by Amazon, I want to say. So it, we'll, we'll see a, a, some, some project from it, but uh, get that signed by the creators. This is the first printing of it too. This is the first issue, first printing. Um, so we'll get that signed. It'll go crazy. Uh, da, da, da. Then I've got three copies of the Jenny Frizen 8 Billion Genies. So I'll get it triple signed. Charles Soul, Jenny Frizen, and Ryan Brown. So you got the cover artist, interior artist, and the writer. Um, so three of those copies. One, one for me to hold on to. One for me to get graded and one for me to sell right away. And then two more Jenny Frizens. We got Something is Killing the Children with Erica Slaughter on the front there. Get that signed by Jenny Frizen. And then the Buffy the Vampire Slayer 25th Anniversary Virgin. Um, thanks, Mirage. Hopefully you have a good day, too. 
Um, so I have emailed around and I need to actually check again since I've seen more. Um, yes, please. So, um, John Tyler Christopher does not charge for SIGs. Um, Charles Soul rule is the first signature is free and then five dollars after that for each. Um, there was one more that I can't find, but typically they'll do a couple. Um, and yeah, I remember seeing that. Um, so yeah, nice stack of these, and I'm actually thinking about taking this one out, uh, just cause four books signed, uh, Jenny Frizen, um, should be good, but I'll keep it in. And then... So I've got it broken down by, I've got five books for Scotty Young to sign, six books for Charles Soule to sign. So that's 25 bucks right there for just the signatures. Um, uh, Ryan Brown, four. Uh, I don't know how, how much his are. Frizen, don't know how much hers are. Um, but I've I've got cash for, for signatures because not all of them take cards. But, oh, shoot. Hey, Rolando, how's it going? That one, that's where that one is going. I made sure I packed those. Um, so I hate everybody. Um, the panels that I am going to be going to panels. Um, and I'm kind of upset because um, I'm, I'm hoping to get it done. Like I said, they can be expensive and I'm trying to balance spending um, just because things have been expensive with getting this set up. Uh, I will be going to, that's right. I'm not going to any panels the first day. Um, maybe a Claudia Gray book signing, but like I said, I've got most of her, if not all of her books signed, excuse me. There's a name that tune star Wars edition. Uh, excuse me, but, um, I don't know. I feel like I'm, I've got other things to do. Um, there is a, you know, it used to be called WWF featuring Mick Foley, Trish Stratus and Lita on the main stage. Um, which I might go to, but my two friends that are going with me might not find it interesting at all. Uh, there's 
there is a Monsters After Dark, and it's got four. It's Donnie Cates, Ryan Otley, Ryan Stegman, and Frank Thierry. Um, you get some exclusive swag and lithographs and stuff that you can get only at that thing, but it's an extra $100 just to go there. Uh, let's see here. Do, 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 do. Yeah, two oh, two months. Um, <laughs> I don't think I can. UPS just backed in my driveway, forty miles per hour, stopped like eight inches from my truck. Ugh. Hey, Gap, how's it going? Good to see you. Um, I'm. Oh, I just realized I'm not sharing. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. So these are the panels. Um, some of them are super funny and cool, like Clifford is a kaiju. Um, Pokemon League entrance exams. Um, Stranger Things 80s party. Uh, I'm going to the Billy D. Williams spotlight. That's on the main stage from 1 to 2 on Saturday. And then... Um, See, and they celebrating 60 years of the amazing, spectacular, sensational Spider-Man. Um, 1962. Spider-Man's the same age as my mom. Um, the, this one really upsets me, too. Uh, oh, wait, it's not this one. The Inquisitors, um, Rupert Friend and Moses Ingram are going to be there. Uh, Grand Inquisitor and, and Third Sister. Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle 30th Reunion panel would be cool. This is the one that upset me. They scheduled Claudia Gray um her panel at the same time that the inquisitors are going it's like you think they'd stagger the the related like anything star wars related um so that's the only thing that's got me psychology of our favorite villains would be cool but i think with my pass i get to watch the recordings of the panels so even if i do miss out um Oh, she's doing another one. We are doing uh, Path of a Hero, Lord of the Rings, Choose Your Own Adventure. My friend Liz is going to love that. She wants to do the Chicago's Ghostly Landmarks. And then on Sunday, 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 uh, Sunday, the only thing we're going to is, oh, I might go to Steve Bloom, uh, spotlight voice of Zeb. Um, but, uh, Claudia Gray spotlight from 1245 to 145. But they are doing a oh yeah, see puppeteers of Star Wars at this pretty much at the same time. There's a half an hour crossover there. Um, Mike Quinn and Dave Barkley as they talk about their time working on Star Wars original trilogy, working directly with Jim Henson to creating characters like Nine Numb. It yeah, it, it it's frustrating. It's frustrating that they didn't time that. Um, yeah, yeah, 
It's pretty cool. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. Um, so you can get, you can buy, you can buy t -t 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 autographs and everything ahead of time so you don't have to pay with cash. Um, but like, Billy D, the only option they have right now is a photo op. They don't even, it's, they don't have anything listed. Usually there's multiple things here, like um, at table autograph for Brendan Wayne is 50 bucks, photo op is 50. Um, like Lita, you can do a team up with her and Tristratus, team up. Um, photo op is 55. Jeanette Varney, the only thing she's got listed so far is a photo op. So I don't even know if it's going to be possible to get that Funko Pop signed. Um, uh, Sasha Banks at the table autograph 70, uh, or you can do the team up with her and Naomi. Um, Michael Rooker. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yep. I'm thinking about it. Um, 60 bucks at the table. Or you can do Inquisitors and Leia. And it's. All three of them. At the table, 50 bucks for Vivian. And you got all the different team ups. Uh, who did he play in Guardians of the Galaxy? Oh, <laughs> didn't even know that. That's cool. Um, yep. I'm, I might go, we might, yeah, yeah, I don't know. It depends. We're going to, there's a, a Chinese, uh, yeah, he's a, uh, I know he's in, in uh, Peacemaker. I didn't, I didn't know he was in Guardians of the Galaxy. So that's cool. But, yeah. Yep, we got a hotel. Um The hotel's a little bit out of the way in one of the suburbs, but we didn't have to pay the crazy prices for downtown Chicago. Um, but yeah, Undertaker, geez, $200 for an autograph, $200 for a photo op. $250 for an autograph on a belt. Autograph on a belt does not include the belt. <laughs> um, it, yeah. Spendy. Yeah, 125 for Rosario Sig, but those Funko, a Funko signed by her is going for, you know, 
they're like four hundred fifty dollars listed on eBay, but if I expect three hundred to four hundred dollars, it's crazy. Um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles team up is only a hundred bucks. McFoley would be a cool one, fifty five dollars. But uh, yeah. I mean, I'm excited. Uh, let's see here. So the monsters after dark. Donny Cates, Ryan. Don, Donny Cates, Ryan Otley, Ryan Stegman, Frank Thierry. One 45-minute Q&A panel with creators, one lithograph from Stegman, includes signature from Cates and Stegman, one lithograph from Ryan Otley includes signature from Cates and Otley, one variant comic of Venom from Donnie Cates includes signature from Donnie Cates, one free selfie with all of them, eight free signatures divided how fans choose on items brought from home. But like I said, it's an extra hundred dollars. It'd probably be worth it. But um, so Friday, you got to show up and they'll scan my phone for my ticket. Or sorry, not Thursday, Friday morning. Um, and then it so floor opens. I didn't get a VIP pass, so I don't get to go in an hour early. But um, I'm excited. I'm excited. We got a couple different places we're gonna eat. Uh, oh, geez. But yes, we did get a hotel. Um, Uber was cheap in 2018. Um, yeah, I'm hoping I get to just walk by him. Like I know that they've got the curtains and stuff like that and the different, you know, so. But I, he's like 6'9", isn't he? McFoley. I heard wrestling. <laughs> uh, I'm excited, Josh. Man, I'm I'm uh, I'm super excited. I'm, I'm gonna have a hard time balancing business versus being a fan, but uh, yeah. Gotcha. <laughs> you told me that. You told me that before. Um, just stake out the bathrooms for when celebrities need to go. Uh, like to meet Taker, Moses Rosario, uh, because of, because Clerk's not Ahsoka. Yeah, uh, young Leia, she'll be a star one day. There goes five hundred bucks. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm so. I've got. My next whatnot auction is today um, at noon, uh, noon Pacific time. So in an hour and a half, uh, I've got a bunch of, you know, I've got, uh, well, let's take a look here. I'm up to 1,317 followers on here. 32 are bookmarked for the stream. Uh, I've got 45 different books, a bunch of different stuff, good mix of DC, Marvel, um, variant covers. Uh, only a couple Star Wars, Obi-Wan versus Black or Santa cover, Dr. Afra first appearance of Dirge in Star Wars canon. Um, Valkyries, Mary Jane, Black Cat, Batman covers, Iron Fist, I Am Groot, number two, Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy, Daredevil, Catwoman, 
Carnage, Captain Carter, Black Panther, Black Cat, Joker, all sorts of stuff. And then the Buy It Nows are the... And actually, I need to remove one of the Buy It Nows because I am going to try to get it signed by David Nakayama. Um, delete. Because the other ones I already got signed by David Nakayama, but that one I didn't. But we got uh, the Batman Airfoil. We got... David Nakayama signed Ghost Rider, Storm, Mandalorian covers, Red Sonia, Obi Wan, Homelander, uh, Wesley Snipes, um, new comic book that's coming out and whatnot, publishing, and then Tyler Kirkham Wolverine set. But uh, a couple of giveaways. I already sold something. Um, but uh, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. Send me, uh, send me something on, uh, on Instagram. It's hard. Um, graded autograph comics. Okay, that's a little bit easier than just autograph comics. Um, I gotta check to who's messaging me. Oh, I see two is going to be announced today or tomorrow. Awesome. Uh, yeah, so I got, I said, I sent out a message to the, the Facebook whatnot comic groups and uh, asked tips and people gave me some really good tips. Um, I'm excited. Uh, whatnot is going pretty well. Um, it's it's going it's going good. Hey, Aaron, how's it going? Um, yeah, it's it's going pretty well. Uh, PowerCon is going on this weekend in Columbus as well. Oh, gotcha. There's another one, too, that I heard people talking about. Um, but, uh, yeah, I've got um, 15 comics to get signed between these. It's pretty heavy. Uh, I'm hoping to have a good sale today, get me a little bit of extra spending cash for... The uh, for the show, really helpful I keep track of all my sales oh that's wonderful um uh, sorry that was that's that's very helpful uh, da, 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 da. yeah whatnot's going well I have um 1,317 followers, still got a five-star rating, uh, 89 reviews on 331 sold items. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's, it's exciting. I'm, I'm looking forward to this. I'm going to spend a bit of money to make a bit of money when it comes to these exclusives. Um, I've got somebody offering, they're wondering if I'm willing to sell their 
sketch covers. Um, wow. Uh, if I'm willing to sell the sketch covers, um, I shouldn't show this until I've got it worked out. Um, he's got some incredible covers that he sent me. He said, um, Hey, uh, I don't know if you host artists on your whatnot auction. I would like to know if you can help auction my sketch cover arts. He's partnered with somebody I know. I'll message that person first. Um, sorry. Does anybody have any questions about anything? Um, I'm I'm super excited. I haven't played a video game in like so long. Football is amping up here. Will be two a day start for us. Uh, August. It's August already. August fifteenth. Um, we went to a camp at a college. Um, we were. We weren't the smallest school there, but we had the fewest number of kids. Um, hey, hey, how's it going? Um, um, there are some really good independent comic uh comics that I'm really into actually, but, um, let's see here. <sighs> so Javon Jordan is a guy that I'm pretty pretty impressed by when it comes to his work. So um, he uh, he's done covers for all sorts of stuff. Um, he does some of these NFT foil cover stuff, but I'm not as big into that, but he, he did all these um, Grand Theft Auto homage, um, the Canto uh, Boys in the Hood. He did, he's done Department of Truth, which I'm not big on just because it's not my, not my style, but, um, like, look at that, look at that, incredible. Um, and he tends to do stuff not so much with Marvel or DC, he's... Oh, my stomach is growling. But yeah, there are going to be some C2E2 exclusive drops. Um, let's see here if I can. I need to. So this Chrissy was the one that I was talking about earlier. I would love to get a blank cover done by her with an older looking Ahsoka. Um, I don't know. I like it. And then she has also done massage. Captain Carter. 
then a Padme that I'm looking for. Right there. Boom. I, yeah. Yeah. A sketch. So what they do is they get these blank covers and then they do a sketch on it. But that can be pretty expensive to have them do, especially at the con, because it's basically a commission. Um, oh, I did not realize this was a video. I'm mesmerized, sorry. Um, and that's the issue is I can't do this kind of stuff. Like my brain does not work visually. I can come up with stories and I can, you know, think of words, but not, uh, oh my God. Okay, I need to stop with this. Um, <laughs> Get off, get off that. Um, now, we have a center, but we do need a guard. <laughs> oh, gotcha. Silk variant, nice. Sorry if that was loud. Um, pack my bags. Time to pancake some D-Lineman. Uh, yeah, we, we brought 16 kids to camp. We would... we didn't have a quarterback. One of our wide receivers played quarterback. Uh, we didn't have two linemen. We had a freshman lineman playing guard. And... A freshman running black running back play tackle. I'll swim move you. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. And uh, I'm, I'm going to share it a little bit more now. Um, a couple lucky people in the chat have, uh, have helped support me heavily in the past, and um, they got to see what I've been working on the last little bit. So a couple years ago, I started writing what I thought would be like a fantasy novel. Um, had a whole outline written for it, started working on that. Um, and then I just didn't do anything with it. Didn't do anything with it. So then I've been getting into these comics and reading these comics. And I'm just like, I'm thinking about it. And I'm thinking about the stories that I made. And I'm like, those would translate pretty well over to uh, to visual storytelling with the comics. So I transitioned the outline into a whole bunch of different issues for comics. I have an outline written for 30 plus um, of them. Uh, I got the story details all fleshed out. I now have 12 outlines and scripts completed with little mock-up comic books. Um, all, all done. Um, so yeah, that's something I've been working on. Uh, we played eight man and only had nine people. Jeez. Yeah, I can't visualize or I can visualize. I can't put it onto paper. 
I can't draw with crap. I drew a Batman, and that's about it. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. All, all, uh, all created from in here. Nathan, Nathan's blowing up my phone. Um, <laughs> I, I shared it on Instagram and Twitter, um, with my PayPal for anybody who wants to throw a little bit of spending money at me since it's my first con and I, I know a couple of you already have. So I really appreciate that. I know a couple of you people have shared it out. Um, I also understand that uh, it is not the easiest of times. So um need to get the community together for football game. Imagine an offensive line of uh, <laughs> you, me, Dave's dimension, Nathan Bowden, uh, I'm trying to think who would be our tackle. But uh, we could put a team together. We could put a team together. Rick could be a defensive lineman. I feel like sleeping would be a good tackle or a tight end or My bad. Chris. Yep, Chris. Ah, pain's only temporary, right? Unless it's chronic, and, you know, which in that case, it's not temporary. But, um, so yes, uh, <laughs> a little... A little over an hour and I'll be doing my whatnot sale. Um, oh my. Oh my, Nathan. Oh, that's a nice run too. Oh. <laughs> um... He just sent me the the signed comics, uh, pictures of the signed comics that he's wondering about. I I am going to C two E two. It's going to be my first convention. Um, that's awesome. I'm not that good. I was I was decent. Um, Who is the who is the the signature on that? That's just what I can't tell. Um, Nathan, you still here? It that does sound like a lot of fun. Um, same, nice. I'll be walking around in a uh, kingpin Hawaiian shirt. I'll be shaving my head pretty close to bald, um, but you can't miss a six foot three big guy. Um, Oh, man. I'm, uh, all sorts of stuff. Got, uh, Legend of Korra for Jeanette Varney to sign. Um, I've got the ticket already for Rosario Dawson to sign Ahsoka. I've got 15 comic books to get signed, um... And I'm hoping to get signed. I understand that I might not get them all signed. Um, but uh, the Billy D. Williams panel for Star Wars. Um, I got the Inquisitors for Kenobi. Uh, how about you? I'm pumped for my first con. Uh, 
I I'm not gonna do the full full cosplay this time. Um, as much as I'd love to. Uh, I've got the the Hawaiian shirt. I'll shave my head down. Um, then the second day I'll wear my Icebox Comics and Games sh uh, shirt. And then, I don't know. I don't know what I'll wear on. Yeah, that's what I've heard. Um, I don't, he's, he's an expensive, uh, an expensive autograph too. But, um, and in fact, they only have the, the photo ops available on the pre-purchase. So I don't know how much it would be to get him to sign something. Um, mm, mm, mm -hmm. The voice of, uh, the voice of Zeb from Star Wars. Yep. They're doing a spotlight on him too, a panel. So that's awesome. That's awesome. Yep. Excited to try Chicago style pizza. Never had, uh, Oh, okay, those names sound familiar now for the ones that, um, Nathan. Yep, yep. But, uh, yeah. That's funny. Um, yeah, I've never had it. I've never been to Chicago. Um, my friend used to live in Illinois, and he said that we're going to uh, a Chinese place that's not very far from the convention center. Um, so we're going to sneak out at for lunch one of those days. Um, get that. But, uh, yeah, I found him. No, no, don't. <laughs> ha ha. There's Nate. Nate's one of the people I'm going to uh, C2E2 with. So. Chinese sounds good. We got to get that Chicago style pizza. Never trade it for New York style. So you're saying you like New York style better? New York is the floppy big pieces, right? Chicago deep dish. So dinner, Friday night, Chinese place and not, uh, not, uh, not lunch. Oh, gotcha. Chicago is better than New York style. Okay. I'm just excited to try it. I'm, I have not traveled very much. I have been to Seattle twice. I've had the fish and uh, clam chowder in Seattle, which was super good. But um, dinner then pass out. Sounds good. That sounds really good. Dinner and pass out. Yeah, Friday. So I think Friday will mostly be a, a walking around day, take it all in. I'm going to try to get as many signatures early that I can. Um, get ourselves acquainted. Saturday is the panels and uh, my rosario dawson signature and then the lord of the rings choose your own adventure and then uh sunday sunday is kind of the wrap it up look for deals go to the star wars puppeteering and then head home so uh yeah i'll absolutely do that after the stream um probably after my my whatnot auction um but uh yeah, Nate, we'll have to figure out our our sneak out and get food schedule. Because I wonder... Uh... <laughs> I 
Um, I wonder if we can get a good pizza place to deliver to the hotel. Um, but yeah, we'll talk about all the all the um, specifics and stuff when we're when we're together. Speaking of Italian, oh, foot of lasagna because she didn't want it leftovers. That I see nothing wrong with that. But uh, yeah, so just wanted to give people an update on kind of the stuff that I've been working on, the stuff that I'll be bringing to the convention to get signed. Um, kind of what the plan is. I'm hoping to take some video and take pictures and do some sort of recap video when I'm done with it. Uh, but yeah. So um, I'll show the intro again for anybody who missed it earlier because uh, there were only a couple people. So I'll, I'll throw that up real quick. So the, the, the new intro. <laughs> So that's the new intro. Um, uh, it does. It does. Um, I need to go get something to eat before my whatnot sale. So uh, in about an hour, in about an hour, I'll be running this sale. Like 60 some books. Um, but yeah. All right. It is pretty cool. Yeah. And there's a pretty awesome, uh, pretty awesome person in that video too. Um, yeah, I'll keep, uh, I'll keep everybody, uh, updated. I'll take some behind the scenes pictures, send them out to, to you guys. Um, and hopefully do a stream and show off what I got, uh, when I get back. So yeah. Yep. All right. I'll see everybody later.